So CSS Flex Wrap is a way to wrap Flexbox items within a parent container down into basically break a new line. By default, the items within a container, as you can see here, will not break. So they'll be on one single line and just kind of go that route up until the smallest width. And sometimes that's useful. Other times it's not. We need maybe on the smaller screens, we need to stack these uh, blocks so they display in a way that's more legible or um, easier to, to use. And a big use case for that might be a button or something on your, on your web page. Um, so there's quite a few properties that come along with the flex wrap property. The default's going to say essentially no wrap. So there's basically no wrap at all, which we just saw. So that looks like this if you ever need to declare it in a more literal fashion. By default, though, that's the default. So you wouldn't even need it if you wanted to actually display it that way. Now, if you did want to contort that a little bit, you could change it to wrap and it will actually wrap in that case. So if we go back to the mobile view, if I maybe shrink my browser just to show you by example here. Now they're very, the hard widths on these aren't really that wide, but we can get to a place where they wrap. Perhaps, let me set a width on those real quick, 15. Let's go with 15 for now, just to get them close together. Now at this point, um, they're not gonna do much. They're gonna break in this case, since we've got flex wrap added. Now if we were to remove that, course it will not break so the no wrap comes back and it just kind of flexes so that stuff just stays stacked kind of gets crammed in there which doesn't always pan out it's not always something you want to do what's kind of neat though is you could do wrap reverse so it reverse wraps so I think the one in this case well, yeah it'll kind of jump down and the whole main line will be at the very bottom instead of the other two that break at the very end. So it's kind of a neat way to control that, which is honestly very powerful. And those are the three main properties you can set. So by default, you're gonna probably, in my past history, always use wrap. And that's just kind of more a graceful way to handle divs that might fall um, and break to a new breakpoint. So if I set the width here, these are gonna break accordingly. If we set no wrap, like so, it will just stay in line and just squish them together. So that's that flex property coming into play. And flex wrap is quite useful. So that's flex wrap. Hello HTML and CSS is my new course on HTML and CSS. It's, this is a more comprehensive guide of learning both languages and using them combined to make realistic websites that are professional and useful. Visit hellohtmlcss.com to learn more.